my name is Javier Fernandez, or my own, or Tejador1967. Welcome to the Chromebook Challenge. What is this Chromebook Challenge all about? Currently, I own a Dell Inspirian 50 inches laptop with 4K touchscreen and a Core i7 5500U processor. I use it mainly at home. I own to a Dell Venue 8 Pro Windows tablet with an Intel Atom 3740D to use it in the office to show presentations, take my documents with me and take notes during uh, meetings. Anyway, I've realized that most of the time all I do in those gadgets is do it inside Chrome web browser. So what? So what is the point of using a 1,000 euros laptop and a 400 euro tablet to use Chrome? When I noticed that, I saw the opportunity to substitute both gadgets with a simple and cheap Chromebook. So I bought an Acer R11 Chromebook with Intel Celeron N3150 CPU, 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. This Chromebook is convertible in tablet by turning the screen to the back of the gadget and of course has a touch screen. It's a good, it's a good uh, Chromebook that cost me around 300 euros, brand new, no second hand, brand new. So that's the challenge. During 30 days, do all I do with Windows 10 Core i7 laptop and Windows 10 8 inches tablet in my new Chromebook. But in the case of the challenge, I mean, in my case, this challenge is double, since I'm recording these videos in English, which is not my mother language. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's the very first time I'm doing that. So I have a language challenge too. I hope you understand what I'm telling you. There were lots of English teachers in my life, and I don't want to make them feel ashamed, basically. I'm pretty sure that 90 or 95% of people that have a laptop or desktop computer at home don't play, well, if they don't play video games with them, they could be using a much cheaper Chromebook instead. In my case, the challenge is more difficult since I'm record and edit videos, participate, I, I participate in more than two hours long handouts that I upload to YouTube one finish and I can generate and edit podcasts and audios of all kinds. This is a huge difference with what you are doing with your gadgets at home. So the idea is try to do all that plus editing pictures, writing articles, at web pages like windtablet.info and other, and use Office, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, both at home and in the office. If someone gave you a Chromebook as a present and you don't know what to do with it, or if you have a school age children and do not want to spend 500 euros on a laptop for him, her, or if you think I'm crazy trying to live without Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, don't miss any chapter of this Chromebook challenge. If you have a Chromebook and want to be sure that you can live with one before buying one for you, or just want to try what I'm going to show you in this video, Search in Google for cloud ready, cloud, like the clouds in the sky, ready, ready, set code, cloud ready, all together. You can create a USB key with cloud ready, which is uh, Chromius, which is the, the, the operating system in, in the Chromebooks, 
and start your regular PC with that USB key, and then the PC is converted to a Chromebook for a while. Once you finish your testing, you just switch off the uh, PC, extract the USB key, and reboot, and your system will be per in perfect condition running the operating system you installed previously, May mainly Windows, I guess. Well, well, of course, this video was filmed and edited using my Chromebook. I will show you how I did it in, late it, in later ch chapters. Sorry. Yeah, my English. I'm sorry. So please don't miss any video in this uh, challenge and just enjoy my horrible English. Bye bye.